definitely hurting and it was definitely uh, uh, crazy to hear this now when I was doing so much other work in the community at the time. A Fox 5 exclusive, one of hip hop's founding fathers speaking out for the first time on television about shocking child abuse allegations. And the list of accusers is growing and they all tell similar stories. Africa Bimbata being accused of sexually abusing several underage boys decades ago. Lisa Ever sat down with him for an exclusive TV interview to answer the allegations. She joins us now, Lise. Well, Stephen Derry, Africa Bambata brought peace to violent city streets, but now he is accused of a crime that is tough to forgive, molesting boys. He sat down with me for this exclusive interview and no questions were off limits. Have you ever abused any underage boy? I never abused nobody. You know, it, it just sounds crazy to people to say that, here, you abuse me. You know, my thing is, you know all my people back then. You know uh, the hundreds of people that been around me. You know, if something like that happened, why you never want to? None of them. Party people, they don't get funky. It also sounded crazy to many fans of his 1980s hit song, Planet Rock, considered one of the all-time greatest in hip-hop. Since then, as the founder of the hip-hop cultural organization Zulu Nation, he's been a visiting professor at Cornell and invited to speak around the world. He told me the accusations came as a shock. What is the motivation? Yeah, what is the motivation? What is the agenda? Do you think there is an agenda there? It's hard to say. You know, you don't know what many of these people are thinking, what is behind it. Uh, some parts I've seen, like, it could be shake-ups. You know, certain things people might have wanted. Bambada's chief accuser, Ronald Savage, is now 50 years old. He claims in 1980, when he was 15 and under the age of consent, playing hooky led to his first sexual experience with the hip-hop pioneer and was followed by at least four other abuse incidents. I didn't have um, nowhere to go, so I had um, his number and um, I called him and he paid for the cab for me to go um, to his house. Savage claims through therapy he came to understand he was abused and became aware of other alleged victims. I couldn't believe it. I was confused, I, I was a little nervous, you know, and I was just wondering like, the other guy coming into the room and like, what was they going to do to me? I asked Bombada what he would say to Savage. The brother knows the people who he came around in my group with and know that he wasn't in my presence less among those people and he needs to go back and speak to those people who was part of our organization and deal with them and stop all this type of craziness that they've been trying to put by attacking me. And you never touched him inappropriately? I ain't touched this brother whatsoever. The allegations have set off a social media firestorm and ignited feverish debate. Since the alleged incidents happened so long ago, no criminal charges can be brought. And there have been no settlements or payouts, says Bombada attorney Charles Tucker Jr. Have there been any criminal charges filed against Africa Bambada at all? Absolutely not. Not today, not yesterday, not the day before yesterday, not ever. The question now is what happens next? Can we ever find out the truth of what really occurred? And are there other victims out there who have yet to come forward? Or is this a case that will only be tried in the court of public opinion? Here's what both sides have to say. In our exclusive interview, Africa Bambada emphatically maintained he is not a sexual abuser. Do you feel now you are among that group of people falsely accused? Oh, most definitely. I mean, there's always been things in our community where you falsely accuse people or people have sit in the prisons, um, you know, political prisoners and, and, and groups like that, um, that they wait to 10, 15, 20, even 30 or 40 years before they find out that this person was um, railroaded. But Ronald Savage believes there are more victims out there and that the statute of limitations should be eliminated. No one can tell anyone when they're ready to let stuff out and especially if you haven't went through what I went through and other people went through. It's like how dare you.